Hey, what's up y'all? Mo here with Tech Up Your Life, and today I'm really excited because we are taking a look at installing Chrome OS Flex on our own hardware. So Chrome OS Flex is Chrome OS, but available for you to install on your own devices. So it's the exact same Chrome operating system that you'll find on Chromebooks. And what's nice about this is it runs on pretty much any x86 hardware. So I installed this on an aging Lenovo laptop to breathe new life into aging hardware. But you can install this on a lot of laptops, desktops, single board computers, and Intel NUX and things like that. So the first thing you're, that you're going to need to do is head over to the chromeenterprise.google website. And there are a few ways you can do this. If you are installing Chrome OS Flex for use in an office environment or like the classroom in an educational setting, it's best to go ahead and register. However, since we are installing Chrome OS Flex for personal use, what we're going to do is click the link next to personal use. The first thing you need to do is actually create a USB installer. So the way you do that is you start by heading to the Google Chrome store. And in the Chrome Web Store, we're going to install the Chrome Recovery Utility plugin. So head over to the Extensions section and select Chromebook Recovery Utility and go ahead and install that. Now check to make sure the Chrome Recovery Utility extension installed correctly. So click the little puzzle piece and select that extension and it should open up. So now you want to go ahead and actually make your bootable drive. To make sure that you've plugged in a flash drive or SD card that is at least 8 gigabytes. And then go ahead and select get started. And now you can identify your Chromebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Google Chrome OS Flex, and then for product, we're also going to select Chrome OS Flex, and then hit continue. And now go ahead and select your device. So in this case, it's just an 8 gigabyte USB flash drive. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit create now. And this will go through a few different steps, including downloading and unpacking. And then finally, you'll receive a prompt from Google Chrome. And when you see that, just go ahead and hit yes, and then writing to your flash drive will begin. So just give this a couple minutes, and then once you get a dialogue that burning to your flash drive or SD card is complete, pop it out, insert it into your target device that you want to install Chrome OS Flex on, and then we'll continue from there. Enter the boot menu on your computer. I did this by hitting F12, but it might vary for you. And then go ahead and select the flash drive or SD card that you have Chrome OS Flex on. You can choose to activate Chromevox built-in screen reader. I selected to continue without it. And when you're ready, go ahead and select Get Started. Once you do that, you'll see two options. You can either install Chrome OS Flex, or you can try it and boot into a live environment. I want to install it, so I selected that, and then I hit Next. And now you'll just hit Install Chrome OS Flex, and you'll see a warning that this will erase your hard drive, but go ahead and install if you're okay with that, and then wait for installation to take place. When installation finishes, you'll see an installation complete screen. So your computer will shut down, and then what you'll need to do is remove the flash drive or SD card where you have your Chrome OS Flex installer downloaded. So go ahead and remove that flash drive and power your computer back on. You'll see a welcome to Chrome OS Flex screen and then go ahead and select your Wi-Fi network and enter your Wi-Fi password. Select who's using this Chromebook, yourself or a child, and then go ahead and hit next. And now what you'll need to do is just go ahead and log into your Google account so that you can start using Chrome OS Flex. So once you've gotten that prompt, enter your username and password. 
review the terms and conditions, or just hit accept and continue because no one reads those. You can now hit accept and continue to sync your Chromebook, and you can either allow or decline hardware data collection. And if you want to, you can connect your phone. I chose not to, but this is a great way to access information between your phone and your Chromebook if you want. So accept and continue or hit no thanks. And now you can choose your display theme. So I went with auto, but you can select either dark or light if you want to go with one or the other. And now here we are in Chrome OS Flex. And overall Chrome OS Flex is awesome. It works almost the same way that Chrome OS does on my Acer Spinbook 713. So you can browse the web, you can use a lot of different apps like Google Docs and Google Sheets, the, the G Suite. You can access YouTube, YouTube TV, Slack, Zoom. There's even a really good text editor and a command line interface. So yeah, whatever you need to do, this is a great way to make a cheap laptop or desktop for yourself or a kid for school. There are a lot of different awesome applications. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the channel for notifications when we post new videos. Head over to techuplife.com for great tutorials, reviews, and best of guides. And in the meantime, don't forget to give your life a tech up.